Hello everybody and welcome to yet more perpetual testing where today this chamber appears to feature turrets. Turrets outside of the usual designated testing area. Uh, does that mean there's a kill the player trap right here in the corner as soon as we start the map? No? No, you're not going to take any shots? Can you can you not see me here? No, apparently not. Um, You do though appear to have a pretty clear view at what I'm guessing is our actual exit elevator. So everybody keep in mind this map may contain future booby traps. Why do you have a panel next to you? Oh. To do that, I guess. Okay, apparently that panel is directly connected to tectonic plates, which uh, shake those guys to death. Booby trap thwarted. I, I don't know why that's a thing, but it's a thing. We don't have to worry about them anymore. Also, the tremor does not appear to be stopping, which is going to get rather annoying. Uh, let's go to the actual testing track. Oh, hold on. If I go through you, does that deactivate? Yeah, okay. Apparently, that panel is actually directly connected to tectonic plates. Does that mean I can turn it on at will? Yes. Yes, I can. I have power over the tremors. Sure, why not? Let's just go with that and do the actual chamber, shall we? Today's chamber, as we turn off that shaking, is entitled Halls of the 90s Tess. And this was made and recommended by MiniDrew90. So a very big thank you to MiniDrew90 for this one. This chamber did have some notes about it in the description. Uh, one of which I guess features the... Oh, hi Cave. Hi Cave. Hi Cave. Blue line on the floor? Always with the lies, aren't you Cave? Uh, yeah, there's some things in the description about this map. One of them I'm guessing is to do with this. Apparently we need to bring things that we find back to the start. Because it does appear that there is free buttons and maybe the genuine exit down there? Possibly. So yeah, it makes sense to bring cubes back here. Cubes that we probably get from these three parts of the chamber that surround us here. Uh, the other thing in the description, round to the left, I'm guessing, is actually you. I mean, that looks new and therefore exciting. Apparently, this thing is a gel conversion thingamajig. A gel converter, if you will. Apparently, any gels that you put into this thing will get converted into the bouncy blue repulsion gel. Which is new. Well, new to me anyway, and therefore exciting. And ever so slightly arousing with its two blatant orifices. That was disgusting. Sometimes I just say random shit to fill dead air. Uh, what are we doing then? Well, we've got orange gel here that we probably want to go ahead and convert to the bouncy blue gel. Since this thing is actually here. For that very reason, I guess. Uh, other than that, we've got a button here that's going to need a cube. That connects to one of these things here, which, if I remember correctly, does not kill me or harm me in any way, but will destroy gels upon contact, so we need a cube for that. Well, conveniently, there's one over there. Uh, there's a button here as well. That button reversificates the conveyance beam and changes it into the pushing variety. Uh, what else have we got in here? There's another tube up in there. For some reason, you've got that, like, Warning, stripey things may move at random tape around the edge. So, does that open? There's also a button in there. That uh, window up the top there at the start. That also had that sort of warning tape, didn't it? So, something might open those. Uh, we've got a button here that appears to connect down a corridor. A corridor that contains deadly, deadly goo. And another one of these old school fizzler emitter type things. Uh, on That's a old fashioned old timey timer, right? You connected to that? What do you give us? You give us one of those white fizzlers, which we can actually stand on. These are just basically entirely solid. And I will now mock it by leaping off at the very last second. Look at that. Elite gaming skills. So, first thing I'm thinking, we got a corridor with deadly deadly goo, right? We also have speed gel and potentially the bouncy blue gel once we do the whole conversion science thing. Usually that means fling oneself speedily that way where there is also a, another exit by the looks of it, and one of those nosy cameras that I can't do anything about, so we'll just have to put up with its perverted nature. Um, this thing then, right? We should probably go ahead and play with this thing. And yes, I know what we're all thinking. We'll get to that. Uh, what do we do with it then? Let's stick some gel in it. To do that, we need to turn off the whatever you call one of those fizzlers that destroys gels. It's probably got a fancy name that somebody in the comments will tell me. That turns that off, which means we can stick a portal there. And then apparently, if we stick a portal above it and fill this thing up, it converts it to the bouncy blue gel. In an incredibly efficient manner. 
you get way more out of it than you put in. Isn't science wonderful? So yeah, that's new and therefore very, very cool. Uh, never seen one of those before, no idea who made it, but that's a new piece of tech that's quite cool to see about. A little bit more like design work on that and that could be very aperture -y. Would be the sort of thing Aperture would do, right? Sort of reusing the science. Yeah, that's what Aperture does. Let's go with that. Um, right, well, we want some blobs down here. Uh, since you give us this panel here, does that mean you want me to specifically put the bouncing gel on there? It does line up perfectly with you, doesn't it? So we could cover that. Uh, we probably want speed gel here. So let's get rid of this first. Can I make a speed gel track all the way along here? If we put the blue and start... Oh! What the hell is going on inside that tube? There's a cube in there. And some weird techno effects going on behind it. Uh, I'm guessing that's probably quite important just with my very, very basic knowledge of how Hammer and the Source engine tends to work. Um, yeah, cool. I definitely want to check that out. But I do want a load of gel down there first. So let's put the orange which is the portals that I meant to move, and start coating pretty much everywhere with the speedy stuff. If we cover all of this, and that last one does go exactly where that fizzler would be, uh, probably a bit more gel, right? Let's do everywhere. The more gel, the easier it is to solve the puzzle usually. That's probably more than enough. I'd like a bit more here. Can I have a bit more here somehow? If we make a mess out of... Yeah, I mean, that fills in pretty nicely. So that gives a speed gel track down there. So you want me to put a blob of the blue stuff on the last one there with the timer. Uh, to do that, we need to convert this orange stuff into that blue stuff with you, right? Uh, that goes back to the blue. Then we probably need to send it down there at just the right time and splat a load on the fizzler at the end there. So let's go ahead and fill up this bit of a conveyance beam with the gel. Get that pretty much full. Yeah, I do like the way that a lot more comes out than goes in. It does seem very, very efficient for the way Aperture usually works. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, blob down there. Probably by pushing it with the converted conveyance beam, right? So, what's the right sequence to do this? And how long a timer are you? If I actually manage to press you. You are a somewhat moderately... Kind of slow, but probably just enough puzzle-wise kind of speed timer. Yeah, about that long. Okay, let's do that then. That's why we have the speed gel track. Uh, for that then, I want to leave a portal in there, right? So I want all of that going that way. Let's put the... Does it matter? Probably not. Let's put the blue on you. Let's press you. Let's do orange there. Th there. And stand on this. That's probably completely messed up my timing. Because the gel's not going to get there in time, is it? Unless I move this now. No, that was not nearly quick enough to do that. Uh, let's try that again then, shall we? If we redo this. Turns that back around. I want gel to go back that way as quickly as possible. Could probably make it just land there, right? If we do that. And then we go now, 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 now. That was plenty. Gets us all the way to the end where there's a cheeky turret waiting for us. Yeah, should have expected another turret, right? They were right there at the start. Okay, you. Uh -oh. You can go ahead and sit here in the corner. I have designs in mind for you. Does that say on you? Power. Oh, okay, that's just your battery. Never mind. Would you come over here? No. Uh, in here, we have a button. A button that does... As of yet unknown, can do it again. Probably something important. That might move that panel over there, by the way. Um, over back there, can I see it from here? No, but I'm guessing that might be what it was. Uh, right, so you, you're going to come with me because I I have plans. Uh, let's do a portal there then and go back. Take you through this way. I'm the person who's going to screw with your life. You sit there. Nope, I want you alive for this so that the suffering is slightly more intense. Uh, that did in fact open up here, where there is a button in there, so let's get a bounce of the blobby blue gel. Why is that 
awkward to say. A bounce the blobby blue gel. That's not even the right order. A blob of the bouncy blue gel, probably out of you. Bounce in that direction, press the button. Seems like a good thing to do. Uh, that means we've got to fill this back up, right? If we do blue there, orange there, fill that up again. Uh, then, well, I want a bit more than that. Fill up this conveyance beam again. Then if we do a blue and orange there, that should be enough to make a splat about there. That should be more than enough for us to fling up into here and see what we get from you. You can give me a cube to go put... Oh! Ah, oh. Aww! Oh. Thank you! That's the confetti. That's like the highest praise that the Aperture facility can actually give one of its test subjects. How lovely. The only thing nicer would be like Cave Johnson tossling your hair and saying, Add a boy, and then you'd look up at him and be like, Please, sir, where are my parents? And then one of those, you know, fidgety panels would guide you back to the daycare. Nobody ever talks about the dead kids in the daycare. Um, anyway, what did that do any other than that? Did I get any more confetti? Nah, just a one shot of dopamine, are you? Okay, well, that kind of actually feels like a well done, you've completed this part of the test kind of thing. Uh, which means we can do what we've all been thinking of, which is what happens if we jam other crap into there? And what was that uh, cube doing in there? Can I put a portal there? And what happens if we stick a turret in there? Do you convert to anything? You knock that cube out and you get out too. Also, that cube is non-corporeal and drifts off into the never-never. Why? I'm sure that was a very important part of the conversion process, but, uh... Yeah, source is weird sometimes, isn't it? Right, so the next important question, what happens if you convert me? Oh, you're blue in here now. Oh, okay. That, that's just the gel covering that in there. That that should have been clearer from the start. It does look very cool, though. Okay, well, you don't convert me, and everything appears to just want to bounce out of you now, right? What if we chuck you back in there? You're just going to bounce back out? Yep, apparently. Uh, next important question, and I've been meaning to try something like this for a while. What happens if we fill it with Wheatleyos? Absolutely nothing. I don't know what else I was expecting, to be completely honest. But I have been looking for an excuse to spawn those into one of these videos for a while now. You two can do that. Ask me how. Uh, right, so is that everything in here? That did seem like a you've done good in here kind of thing. So let's take you back up to the start. And then I guess one of these other doors is open for us now. Yes, you. You have a faith plate target as we enter. More bouncy blue stuff. Old-fashioned faith plate, which probably just chucks us back up here, right? Yes, so immediate thought, why can't I just take that cube out of here right now? Probably because there's another well done button in here, right? Most likely up in that kind of direction, somewhere up there. That seems to be where you want me to go. Also, another exit door here. Do you acknowledge my existence from this side? No, no, you do not. Okay, let's do the actual puzzle then. Uh, you there, you want me to go up here, so let's start making a mess here. Get a nice load of splat all over there, a little bit in the eyes, just for good measure. Uh, that'll let us bounce up to this part. Up to this part, we have deadly, deadly goo and more of these solid white fizzlers. Um, well, that we can use to bounce up into that direction. Also flips those around, which makes sense. Because now we can, like, coat that, right? And the gel does stick on top of there. This time, I think we are actually going to be making use of it. We kind of skipped it last time. Uh, that means we need the cube to hold that button down. Grab you. Let's stick you up on here, then. Brings those back, flips that round. Let's make a bit more mess there. And then we can bounce up to here, where we are greeted with two more buttons and another flippy around panel. Uh, you... You're the white one as well, right? Yeah, okay, yes, that's solid. It looked slightly more see-through than the other one. Uh, that goes down to a white pit where there is some of those gel-destroying fizzlers. This button, this button apparently turns off those gel-destroying fizzlers, and this one turns off that. Okay. Uh, I guess you want me to bounce up where there does appear to be another congratulatory tube. I do hope we get some more confetti to taste. I like to catch it on my tongue. Um, gel there, right? And then bounce. So why do I need to turn these on and off? Surely I could just make a mess of it with uh, you, right? That's probably plenty. Is there somewhere to go up here? There's a bit of a mesh there. 
Is that a bit of a mesh reveal? It reveals a panel, so you. Uh, then we can stop the bouncing, and we can just go up there. Up here is... nothing. Nothing other than our reward. Shower me! Yeah, I, I do like that. You don't see it nearly enough in uh, Portal 2 community maps. It's a really nice attaboy, you done good kind of feeling that those tubes deliver. Yeah, I want more of those. Um, is that it then? That feels like another well done, you've completed this portion of the puzzle kind of thing. So let's go back down. No idea why we needed this. I mean, I'd say I've skipped something, but if it works, it works, and that clearly, clearly worked. Uh, it has opened up this door for us, but we're going to need our cube, so I'll just go this way. Grab you off of here. Head down towards the faith plate, and we can leave this one up in the middle as well, waiting for our return. I'm going to leave them on top of the glass so that they fall down there for me. Uh, in here, we've got another conveyance beam. We've got an elevator, an automatic one. Uh, we've got another one of these things which automatically deactivates, deactivates, destroys the gels. The gels that'll come out of there. That connects to something in here. It connects to this button. Okay, so you can only do that from in here. And this looks like a very, very bounce orientated kind of room. In fact, if this is chamber three, is this the thing from the description? The room with the gels and the long hole. Well, that looks like a pretty long hole to me. I mean, I've seen longer. Yes, fill in the blanks. Um, yeah, so there is a trick to this, apparently. A trick that we will have to work out. We also need to find the button which I guess makes this open since it's got the warning tape. But this is very much a bounce kind of room. Up to there, where there appears to be many, many congratulatory confetti tubes. So that's probably like the grand finale confetti tubes, right? Uh, in here, this button connects to one of those old school faith plates that will launch us in that direction. What's up there then? What do you want me to go to up there? Uh, can I have a peek out there? We go, oh, I can just ride you up. You're another automatic elevator, you are. Up there, up there is a button, a button that does something that we need to find out. Uh, also, what's up here, up here? Up here is our cube delivery tube. That should be pretty easy to get to. We can just ride straight up here. Uh, is there a cube? There is a cube already waiting. So go stick that cube on the button would make a lot of sense. Do we even need the faith plate for that? Couldn't I go... No, that'll go into the wall and that's too low. No, okay, let's go ride the faith plate like we're supposed to. Chuck you upon this button. Flips that over. Uh, let's get that out the way for now, shall we? By going this way to a faith plate target and a flippy round panel greets us as we land. You, you, do you do the gel? Yeah, you do the gel there. Okay, so cube up here then. Do you and one of you will do. Go grab this cube. Don't think we need the fake plate anymore. Because bouncing from here on in is probably uh, gel based, right? Because now we have permanent gel that we can only do from being stood on that button. So you. Oh, a little bit gets through. A single blob. Makes quite a mess for a single blob though. Not the most efficient fizzlers for destroying the gels, those. Uh, right, so if I stand on you, we can now put gel wherever we want, probably in a way that's going to make it so we can, like, bounce up. Stairs. Stairs seem like a go up here kind of indicator. Also you. You're probably a very important place to put gel, right? I mean, you're directly above the long hole, although... Where's your button? Did I miss something somewhere? Is there a button I missed to open that up? It wasn't with you, right? It's not like a temporary thing. Uh, as far as I can tell, that's not moving. That is the only button in here since you're already working. Panel there for getting back, maybe? I don't know. I don't really need any of that. Where's the button to activate you, then? I don't know. Is it higher up? The back of one of these? Is it the back of one of these? Let's get a better view. No. Okay, I don't know where the button to open that up is then. Uh, also, how did that go down there when the glass is still here? 
Ah, Source Engine, we all love your wonky ways. Alright, well, let's just start making a mess in this room with the gel. The more gel you get absolutely everywhere, as per tradition, means the more chances for accurate science. And that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. So let's start making an absolute mess of this place. Literally everywhere probably needs to be pretty bouncy in here. Uh, those seem very important, as were you. Is there any... Anything else? Let me flip me off of there. That appears to be it, right? Okay, now I'm smacking my head. Uh, still don't know how to open up that thing. Can I get you out the way? We can start bouncing up to these higher levels. Take me across to that one. Let's get that out of the way. I said, let's get that out of the way again. That is probably enough for me to skip that corner. Here it is, where we can get onto these stairs. Oh, okay, no button for this one. Just some sort of, like, human sensing stair installation. Very, very fancy bit of tech, that. Stairs that know when they're in use. Uh, well, that opens up you, where we have a very blatant long drop. Very blatant long drop. That may well just get us up there. There is a trick to this, apparently, according to the description. Uh, that doesn't get us high enough. What about on a second bounce? You know, we're doing the corridor thing, which doesn't help at all. Let's control the bounce there. Um, you. You would make sense for being a much, much higher long bounce kind of fool, wouldn't you? Let's do you there, then. That is way higher. Is that way higher enough? Uh, then forward. Well, it gets us high enough, but not uh, enough. About now, that gets me to there. Uh, okay. So there's a trick to this, apparently. I feel like I could have made that, though. Like, enough that I'm going to try it again. If we go down here, I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Do there. And then, like, move forward. And at the edge. And then... Oh, just right there, but not quite that far. Is that high enough? No, that's going to smack me into the ceiling every time. I do that, but not quite so far forward. That should be enough, right? Is is that the trick? Go down. Rotate. Forward. Forward, forward, but not entirely. There. Uh, no, that, that made a complete mess of that. Am I now stuck down in the pits? Uh, you, you're all panels, which means I can get out of here, which means I could also do this, right? We could just do it again from here. Just spin around. And forward ever so slightly, but not all the way. And uh, now, 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 yeah, okay. Apparently that was the trick. That's, um, if that was the trick, um, that's actually not that much of a trick. That's double bouncing by accident in a long pit. I do that quite often. It does, however, get us all the way up here, where we are greeted with what looks like the grand finale of confetti. Yes, shower it upon me. Ooh, like the way it shakes everything too. Lovely. It's made from thousands and thousands of shredded AOL startup discs, in case you're wondering. It's that recycling I was telling you about. Uh, that's it then, I guess. Yeah? Is that it for this one then? We can go grab that cube off the top bit and stop the bouncing. We can go grab that cube from up the top there and then just take that into the middle. Those all like fallen down now. Those cubes dropped into the pit. Uh, one of them has, apparently. So you, you can go wait down there as well. And let's get this other one. Uh, to get the other one, well, I can just use you, can I? Let's do this. Grab you off of there. You're no longer needed there. Right, nope, that's where we get crushed. Let's not go there. Let's use the one that goes up. Take me up this side. Drop you down into the pit, which I'm guessing is like the end of this one then, right? Once we put these on their respective buttons. You get to go there. You, if you stop screwing me around, you get to go there. You are already there, so Good that would appear to be it. And here is our glorious benefactor. Uh-huh. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Yeah, Worst cool. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Canasta? Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. Cool. I, I, I was of use. Numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy oh, that's cool. I can only get my calculator to say boobies. Uh, anyway, I do believe that is the end of the map, and we don't have to worry about the turret-based booby trap anymore. Because, like a British nanny, we have shaken them to death. 
Um, yeah, that's it, isn't it? That was Halls of the 90s Test, made and recommended by MiniDrew90. So a very big thank you to MiniDrew90 for that one. If you would like to recommend a map for me to try and play, then please go ahead and do so via the usual means. And now, just before I go, public service announcement. Wheatleyos! As many Wheatleyos as your heart desires. You can have literally as many as you want. Up to a certain point or your frame rate will go to absolute shit. But yes, you too can carry Wheatleyos with you in every testing track that you have to endure for nourishment for. Legally, it is classifiable as food. Uh, if you would like to do so, ask me how in the comments because, well, it'll be a lot quicker than me trying to describe it now. Uh, that is it. Yes, Wheatleyos. Enjoy them as much as you like and fizzle them to your heart's content. Um, somebody else can clean up this. That took care of a good few. But yeah, the, the rest someone else can deal with. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, catch you later.